welcome to my channel. I'm trying to get caught up on videos. Um, it's been a long week. Uh, so, the how I make my folio journals. I The journal I was working on, I went ahead and finished. Because my husband had time off from work through the holidays. And I've been behind dealing with Sammy, our, um, Collie. Um, she's been real sick. Uh, so I am trying to get caught up and I have this journal to the point of where I had the other one. See, that's made and first time opening this, so it you gotta uh, it's hard to open these the first time and see that's that's made um, I have all these made but not sewn yet because they weren't sewn in the last one um, so I have this one to where the other one was so, I am picking up on this. Uh, today, we are making my um, fabric clusters. Because, and then the next video, we'll be cutting the, getting the signature ready to get sewn in the book. But I need these made because I have to sew them onto a journal page before I sew the journal in. So this is about two inches wide. So we are going to lay, and this is from Dollar Tree. We are going to lay that down. And then, being it's two inches wide, we're gonna cut this to two inches and I need two of them. And these are just quick, easy, Clusters. These are the kind that I make for the folio journals. Um, yeah, and it does have wire in it, so you got to kind of push just at the ends. But like I said, I need two of these, so we will go down to the four inch. And then I like to take them and go along the wire and cut that off because I like to fray the edges. And I don't know why I do this step. It doesn't, that lace underneath, it doesn't really matter if it shows. So I just cut the ends off. Because it's not going to show. And that way you'll see the frayed edges of the burlap. There, get that done. put that up and then these are strips that I've already worked on see I've cut the end but we're gonna go this end and these are one and a half so let me cut this end off Let me make sure it's one and a half. Yep, one and a half. So, put that up there at the edge. And I will need four pieces of these because I'm only using this kind of material. Sometimes I use two different kinds. But, so, we need 
four of those. And I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get back to this. I've just been really stressed. And I'm just going to cut that end off because it's bent. I don't want to iron these. Don't want to drag the iron out for just that. So one more. There you go. That's it on that. So then I take some of this ribbon and I cut it um, this one I think I do one and three fourths. And I usually try to lay two pieces down. Because you only need two of these. And see, these are just scraps from something else. And then I have this one. And I do this one about one and a half. So we got those. And then I do this one about one and a half also. So we are done with these. I am um, just real quick barn the edges. Say that wasn't good enough. There. Just to keep them from unraveling. I burn them long enough to melt them, but not long enough to make them look burnt. Okay, so we have all those pieces together. And then I take I know, it's weird. I lay a tissue down. I know. I'm strange. But, lay a tissue down and get one of these or this Dollar Tree. And I just fray the ends. Just take a couple of these out. one down and on this one you can pretty well get both of them same time okay. 
So I pray the end of these just a little bit. My collie was laying down. She got up and hobbled into the kitchen, needing outside. Because the other girls are outside. Which, she only gets up and walks like twice a day. Some of the time she can't even make it all the way in there. My husband has to carry her. And my dog, Glory. The troublemaker. She has decided that being Sammy gets carried up the stairs, that she wants carried up the stairs. Because to go outside off our deck, their stairs, or to come inside through the garage, their pen is right off the garage. There's stairs into the kitchen from the garage. But she has decided that she doesn't have to do stairs either. And she sits at the bottom of the stairs and waits for my husband to pick her up. They are so smart. They're, dogs are almost too smart. I always say we don't deserve dogs. They're, they're so great. But so what's wrong with Sammy is She's got a herniated disc in her neck that is making it to where she can hardly walk. And we took her to the doctor for that and he gave her some pain meds and there is a surgery that would help her, but the surgery cost about $7,000. Um, but she's not even a good candidate for the surgery because she's almost 11 years old. Here in a month and a half, she'll be 11. So she's not a good candidate. Well, she wasn't keeping anything down for a few days, not even water. And um, I called the vet, and I'm like, she's not okay. Some, something's wrong. Took her in there. Her kidney levels are really high. So, And she had been on antibiotics, which wasn't helping. So they uh, put her on a different antibiotic just in case she... Her kidney levels being high is a kidney infection. So they put her on like a broad spectrum antibiotic. Maybe that'll help. And then come to find out she's also had a stroke. So we'll, we'll see what happens. So I got these done. And then what I do is I just kind of like put them like that on there, hang over a little bit on the side. And then I put this one straight. And then I will put this one. Nope, I want that one on top. Put this one there. And then that one on top. And then I just staple it with my. Yes. I just staple it with my Tim Holtz stapler. But I will end up sewing it onto burlap or ribbon. And I don't like how that's stapled. So, because it bunched up that one thread or ribbon. So, I will, I took that out and I will redo it. But I will end up sewing these on burlap or um, ribbon to put his belly band that's hanging out over too much.
put as a belly band in the journal. And like I said, I had that one down. And then this one. And then um, sometimes, but it doesn't do too well in these folios, I will sew a button right there. But it doesn't do too well in these folios. So. Why is this not stapling right? Seems like every time I do a video, whatever I'm using has a malfunction. So let's try this again. So he is out there building ramps for the dogs because all of our dogs are elderly. Like Lady, she's the oldest. She's getting ready to turn 12. And they're all big breed. So they don't tend to live as long as smaller dogs. much better and I think I'm gonna take this one out again just just because it messed up and gathered up that one ribbon I didn't even go all the way through on that one side Oh, let's see here. That is not wanting to come out. There we go. Got it. Got it, got it. There we go. And then, like I said, I will sew these onto burlap, but I'll do that on video. Um, but this little stapler, I love this little stapler. It has little miniature staples. I think this is one of my five favorite things. I did a video on my five favorite things, and I think this was one of them. But the next video for this folio journal series will be um, getting the signature ready and cut down. Um, and then, like, the next one after that will be I gotta sew everything. So I'll do that. But these are ready to for the journal. So thank you for watching. And again, sorry it's taken me so long to get back to this. Y'all have a great day. Bye.